Hi everyone, it's me again. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna um, finally read uh, the chapter that came out for this week for My Hero Academia. As you know, um, I finally get caught up to the manga, which goodness, it did took me a while. <laughs> I'm barely catching up to the month for Black Clover, so lots of interesting things have happened for both mangas. I mean, My Hero Academia, the final battle is already starting, and and the plan that the heroes plan to defeat the villains sadly isn't even going according to plan because uh, Toga got in the way and took Deku somewhere else and he was supposed to be with... Uh, it, it, I'm st it still pisses me off. He was supposed to be with Bakugo, uh, Best Genius, and uh, who knows who else. I mean, those two guys are literally fighting the big guy. The big guy, so I'm very, very excited to read this chapter. Uh, honestly, I'm pretty excited. Uh, maybe I'll think of some uh, th uh, ideas, theories. I mean, I was pretty much fine. I'm like, yeah, they're gonna use Monoma to copy Kurogiri's quirk. Honestly, I, I was hoping that we'll get to Shirakuma, but I think he's, he's pretty much far gone. Um, I don't think he's uh, uh, Shirakuma completely anymore, and it's pretty, pretty sad. I mean, even in Razorhead, it sucks that he can't even go into the battlefield because, I mean, he lost one of his eyes. And he pretty much would be uh, defeated very, very quickly. Uh, but anyways, enough of all that. Let's begin right away. Okay, chapter 346, Super Hyper and Trapman State. So, uh, we're getting uh, to the battle really quick. So, it looks like... Um, Deku was supposed to meet with Eshot, Merkel, uh, um, Nejire, uh, come on, Sun Eater, and Bakugo against Shigaraki I inside that big uh, fortress. For a minute, I thought it was UA, but it appears it's not. It's some type of uh, fortress that they were able to create. And I have a feeling uh, the course class, especially Hatsume, probably helped building this thing uh, to fight uh, Shigaraki. I wonder how it works and how they were able to design it to counter um, Shigaraki's uh, decaying quirk and the other numerous quirks that he has. Damn. So the conditions that they set up won't be met. So yeah, losing Deku for that battle, it's a huge, huge loss. Wow, the battle against the greatest villain in history. And it's true, Shigaraki has become very, very powerful. Oh, it looks like he's already using the decaying quirk. Whoa. Okay, that's weird. It didn't it didn't really decay and it pushed him up. Okay, so this fortress has to be designed a specific way to counter uh Shigaraki's decaying quirk. I was I was right about that. Oh, that is an electric barrier. Damn, best genus is a badass. He's absolutely right about what he's saying. I don't think he completely disintegrated. Well, it does look like it disintegrated, but yeah, this specific fortress was designed a way to counter his decay. Yeah, as long as they keep themselves suspended in the air, um, they're going to be Pretty, pretty safe from um, his uh, decaying quirk. But he is bringing a good point that uh, they're limited to terrain. You're not concerned? Ooh. I was right. That fortress was specifically designed to defeat him. 
Oh, wow. Power loads and mentos is in this. Oh, Hatsume. I knew it. <gasps> Jayurosu. Oh, I see. Uh, uh, lunch rush. Um, yeah, the hero lunch rush that makes the meals. Yeah, it explains why he's right next to uh, Jayurosu. I mean, since you know that Yorosu's quirk, she uh, allows her to create things, but uses the lips from her body. So she's going to need a lot of food to be able to create so many things in such a short amount of time. And of course, Hatsume came up with the idea of this flying fortress. Mm hmm. Damn. Oh, so they need a lot of energy to power up this uh, fortress. Okay, this is uh, electrified quirk users have to be involved here. So Kaminari has to be here. Of course. Oh, we see Kaminari, Fukidashi from Class 1B. Oh, another uh, users from other classes. I don't recognize the other two. Oh, whoa. Goodness, Monoma's a huge star here. Yeah, it makes sense for him being right next to Eraser Head because of his um, Eraser Quirk. And because of um, Eraser Head's um, his quirk to erase quirks, goodness, I'm repeating this thing all, all over again. Because of his quirk, uh, the incident at Jakku, there you go, wasn't uh, catastrophic. So they really, really need, need his quirk to prevent Shigaraki from uh, using other type of quirks. Damn, this is all so that could have the upper hand in the battle. He's not, he's nowhere to be around. What the hell is that? It looks like um that little fleshy thing from a couple of chapters ago, uh, where Spinner saw, yeah, it's that fleshy part of that, uh, I forgot what chapter, where he goes into the cave to look for Shigaraki, and I remember seeing, like, uh, like a bunch of flesh, and that attack, it's like, has a lot of hands. He's completely different from the incomplete version we saw in Jaku. Oh my god. Mirko. Damn. So the eraser the eraser didn't work. Damn. This is not good. Deku was supposed to be there to give him the upper hand in the battle, but he's nowhere to be found. Damn. Okay. That uh, panel with Mirko reminds me of the war arc. Um, yeah, you know, with a bunch of the uh, Nomus and getting the upper hand against uh, Mirko. Yeah, it's literally bringing me flashbacks of that chapter. Yeah, it looks like uh, Shigaraki is countering the erasure. I'm, uh, I'm actually surprised that he's able to do that. It's unknown what the hell he's doing with his body that... It's, so it's not a quirk? Who knows? I am... Yeah, Shigaraki is completely broken right now. Who knows which weaknesses he's, he has. Uh, but overall, it's a, it's a pretty good chapter. I'm pretty excited to read the next one. <laughs> but anyways, uh, thanks for watching and I hope to see you for the next video. Bye.